Hi, this is Dr. Philip Cordova. Today we'll talk about Houston Chiropractor Reviews. Are they helpful? Are they useful? Should you be considering reviews when it comes to making your choice a chiropractor? Of course. I mean, you should be looking at reviews. I hope that you look at reviews for any purchase that you make, whether it's buying a new refrigerator or choosing a 99 cent app on iTunes. So certainly when it comes to your health, your spine, you want to gather as much information and research as possible when selecting your chiropractor. Now, when you're reading reviews, though, you may not always know the best way of going about this or some of the things that can happen. Now, one of the first things you should look at is, do the reviews seem legitimate? Now, it's not enough that they're all positive. It's great that they're all positive, but what you can look at is you can see the people who are leaving reviews. You can click on their information. You can click to see, have they given other people reviews? Do they seem like a normal person? Do they seem like somebody who actually visited the chiropractor that you're thinking about going to see? The next step would be look at the frequency of the reviews. Did all the reviews come within a two week span and then nobody ever gave reviews ever again? That to me seems less likely to be a true review. Because we've been able to give reviews on Google, on Yelp, and all these places for, at this point, this is 2016, at least eight years. So for eight years, all these businesses have had the opportunity to have their patients and customers give reviews. If they do not have reviews spread out over time, it also makes it seem less likely that these are a legitimate source of reviews. And lastly, should you be scared away by a bad review? I would think not, but it really depends on what that review says. The review can just be one unhappy person who may have been unhappy no matter where they went. So I would read the bad review and not just look, is there a bad review? Read the bad review, see what it says, see if it's something that you feel like it would affect you or not. Also look to see, did the chiropractor, did the business owner respond to that review, and, and how did they respond? Did they respond with, I'm really sorry to hear that, or did they respond with more inflammatory remarks? Because that would indicate the type of customer service that you could expect should something go wrong, or should you have a concern or something that you wish could be changed during your visits. So read reviews, but also read them with a discerning eye and also use them as part of your information gathering process when choosing such an important position, which is the chiropractor, to help you get the most out of your chiropractic care.